Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Heroes of the Storm. This game is a guilty pleasure of mine. I have been playing this game a ton, whereas I should be editing some nights or I should be recording some nights. I find myself just playing Heroes of the Storm. It's a very fun game. What I want to do here with this video is make kind of a beginner's guide for the game, similar to a video I did a while back with City Skylines, where I kind of just showed you how the game is played and kind of showed you all the different options and how the game works. I want to do that again here with Heroes of the Storm and maybe even use it as a precursor for a series of videos. We'll have to see how that's going to go. So hopefully you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy the video as I teach you just about everything that there is to know about Heroes of the Storm, at least at a beginner's level. So what is Heroes of the Storm? It is a MOBA-style game. It's similar to League of Legends, similar to Smite, similar to Dota. If you've played or seen any of these games, it's pretty similar in a lot of different respects, but of course with its own twists and changes and bells and whistles. It's a free-to-play game, like I mentioned, by Blizzard Entertainment, and all the characters that you can select are from the different universes that are made by Blizzard. So, for example, you have Thrall here from the Warcraft series, you have Diablo from the Diablo series, you have Zagara here from the StarCraft series, right? So all these characters you may recognize if you're a fan of Blizzard games, and and they're all thrown together here in this MOBA game. Now it is free to play and if you see these here, like you see this little Nexus Heroes of the Storm symbol next to a hero, that means that particular hero is free for that particular week and they rotate the free characters every single week. This is what I would consider to be a truly free to play game because you can actually earn gold relatively quickly in this game and you can use that gold to buy heroes without ever having to pay real money. They rotate the heroes on a weekly basis, uh, which ones are free anyway so that way you can actually uh, select a bunch of different heroes play a bunch of different classes and whatnot and you can really play this game free but if you'd like to spend money you can do that as well as you can see you can buy Rhaegar here for eight dollars and fifty cents or for seven thousand gold uh, same thing with all the different heroes and if we actually go back here to the shop you can actually see that here are the heroes you can buy them with gold or you can buy them with money whichever you prefer and you can actually sort them by price ascending and you can see some heroes are very very cheap only 2,000 gold which is pretty simple you can get gold by completing daily quests which you unlock at level 6 or you can go ahead and just actually play the game you get gold at the end of every single game as well as you get gold from your daily quest it's not that hard to gather up some gold and a lot of these guys are actually pretty good now one misconception people may have is well these guys are 10,000 gold these guys are 2000 gold so the 10,000 ones are probably way better right typically no that's the weird thing about here is a storm i don't understand exactly how the gold system works in this game because you know there are some characters up here at level 10 like for example the lost vikings which are very very hard to play uh you look at some of the other heroes here chen for example for 10,000 gold is considered by a lot of people to be a very bad hero a lot of people don't seem to like chen for one reason or another i personally don't know i've never actually played as him whereas murden has, sees a ton of play very good character very tanky rainer very very good lili great healer malfurion great healer Sonya, very fun. A lot of people like Sonya. ETC, very fun, tanky. Uh, Nubarak, I like playing as. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking at the different characters, just because they cost more gold-wise does not necessarily mean they're going to be better. And like like most of these uh, MOBA-style games, these Dota-style games, it is a free-to-play game, and there are skins that you can actually purchase. You can go from price ascending all the way up to like certain like some ridiculously priced ones. Like there is a legendary skin here for Tassador, who comes with a uh, replaced voiceover themed abilities and a themed mount who is going to be $15 just for that particular skin which is kind of crazy but you can buy skins you can also unlock skins for different heroes which I will run down here really quickly for you let's go to Murky who's probably the character I have the most skins for so this is default Murky right here this is the Murky if you start playing as Murky who's my favorite character he's a baby Murloc so much fun uh, this is the default skin you'll get, and the more you level up your hero, which if I go up to here, go to my profile, and then go to my hero collection, you can see this is how you unlock different things at different levels, which you get levels just by playing the game and getting experience. You know, at level 2, you get a, a different heroic ability that you can choose from. Advanced talents, expert talents, 500 gold, mount variations, skin variations at level 7 and 8. 
And those are the skin variations. So you start off with the default one, then you can unlock the blue one, then you can unlock the orange one. If you get to up to level 10, which takes a very, very long time, you unlock the master skin, which you also have to purchase with 10,000 gold after getting to level 10. So it's a very it's a very exclusive style of a skin. So if you see people using a master skin for a hero, they're typically going to be pretty good with that hero. As well as I have Grunty Murky because he's adorable and I spent money on it because it's adorable. It's a StarCraft themed Murky. It's hilarious. And here's like an Easter Bunny themed Murky and just that's like kind of how it works that's how the skins work you level them up you can unlock skin variations uh different color variations i suppose as well as the master skin but the other skins you're generally going to have to pay for sometimes you can find them like this one's for ten dollars i don't want to spend ten dollars on easter easter bunny skin for murky but maybe if it goes on sale for five bucks maybe i'll get it then because they frequently go on sale or are frequently part of bundles so i think that's a lot that i can really show you here i think next i should really kind of show you the game itself but up here you should note that there are there is training you can face the ai see training is very very simple ai very simple quick match you're actually facing other people you can go to ranked play which is going to take you to hero league which is actually like a competitive place which i'm not personally a fan of and then of course there are custom games like, uh, which are kind of like the equivalent of private match, I suppose. And uh, so what I think I'm going to do here is actually just go play the game. And keep in mind, if you guys have actually played, I suppose, Heroes of the Storm before, this may be a video where it's like, wow, does he really need to explain everything? But that's what I, I kind of want to do here with this video, is I wanted to I want to teach you guys everything that there is to know about the game itself. You know, I want to show you how things work, how the map works, what these uh, different little intricacies are, because those are things that I ne didn't necessarily understand right away so hopefully i can explain that stuff for you guys here in this video and the map we're gonna be playing which there are multiple maps and they all have kind of like their own little themes and objectives we're playing tomb of the spider queen which the idea here is there's gonna be spider minions for each team and if you kill them they're gonna drop gems you turn in the gems uh once you get to a certain number you'll summon web weavers for your team and the web weavers uh they're pretty powerful and they will help you push into the opponent's core pretty quickly and that's the whole point, if you've never played uh, a Dota-style game like this before, is to get the opponent's core and destroy it. That's how you win. That's the objective. But there's a lot of other stuff and a lot of different ways to play, which is why games like Dota, League of Legends, Heroes, might... Why they're so popular, because while they all kind of like the same concept, all the little intricacies between the heroes and the interactions with the map, all these things are why the game is so fun and why there's so much replay value in there. Like, it's just so much, a ridiculous amount of replay value. So, once the game actually loads up here, uh, we'll actually be able to show you guys some of this stuff. And I had an unusually fast queue. Alright, so here you are at levels 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 20. You get to pick a talent, right? And, oh goodness, I'm going to have some graphical issues, which means I need to go ahead and change this. My graphics card is going to be coming today, and I can't wait for that because my old one is kind of crapping the bed. For whatever reason, if I change the graphics quality, it randomly will, like, stop the bug that's happening. Uh, where it kind of, like, just completely de demolishes the screen and makes it all freaking out. But um, how it works with the with the talents, uh, if you've played League of Legends maybe before, I'm going to go with Bubble Breeze, uh, you, you'll notice that you have to like, pick things. Like You have to buy different things in League of Legends. I've never played Dota before. But in this game, it's a bit different in that you choose a talent every couple of levels. And of course, only different talents can give you different kinds of buffs and benefits and things of that nature. Now, Murky is a fun hero because I have the ability to place an egg, which is basically like a portable spawn point. Which is definitely very, very nice. So let's go down here and help out our buddy who is being demolished. Who is being absolutely demolished. Oh, Zeratol, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Woohoo! Down already. Down already. Zeratol is down already. So right now, I'm going to be pushing up here in kind of the top lane with my teammates. Just trying to help out. Just trying to get some XP for the team. Let me back up a little bit and try and show you here. So where we spawned is basically our core. That's our core. That's what we need to defend. Over here in their base is their core. That's what we're trying to attack, right? That's basically the gist of it. And you have all these towers in here and stuff here. You see them on the mini-map. These towers that we're going to be fighting through. There's a tower right up here even that can shoot at us. They're very hard to get through. And that's kind of the whole point. You got to slowly like inch your way towards their tower and try and be able to take out their stuff. And so how you do it is every map there's different objectives. Like this one is Tomb of the Spider Queen. You see I just picked... We have spider minions fighting with us. And... Uh, you know, every time you kill them, they drop little spiders. Or little, not little spiders, I'm sorry. It's so hard to think and play at the same time and talk and everything else. But uh, they drop these little uh, gems. You get the gems, you turn them in. Uh, here's the things. We're the blue team. They're always, like, your team's always going to be the blue team. The opposing team's always going to be the red team. 
And uh, first team to 50 gets these guys to come out. And uh, yeah, they help. They help you push. So that's kind of like the objective of the map. You see all the different things here on the main map. That's what we have to fight through. You want to, you want to enlist the best you can the help of... I need to run. I need to run. Come on, kill him. Yeah, that Illidan. These, these guys are just pushing up on us so hard but for no reason. But... Uh, <laughs> Can't believe how Willis is actually going right now. I, I misclicked. I didn't mean to use my invulnerable bubble. I didn't mean to hit my invulnerable bubble. Don't kill me. I'm just a little murky. I'm just a little murky. What do I want for my level 4 talents? I'm going to go with living the dream here. I'm not going to get too in-depth with the talent choices and stuff like that in this particular video. I think we're going to do videos in the future where maybe I do a video as murky and I talk about my builds and how I like to play as murky. Run away, bud. Run away. I got you. I got you. I got you. It's okay I died. I'm murky. But as long as I saved you, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Because one interesting thing about Murky, if you guys uh, have never played as Murky before, is dying is kind of what Murky does. Um, I but Murky, by default, has like a ridiculously small amount of health compared to all the other heroes in the game. Just barely any health. But I have that egg that I can hide. And if, as long as that egg is up, I only have a five second long respawn delay. If you look at the top part of the screen here, you see the Johanna here. It's counting down. That's because Johanna is dead. That's how long she has to wait for she can respawn. Murky barely ever has to wait to respawn. So that's kind of the give and take. Dying as Murky is not a big deal as compared to some other heroes. Which is kind of nice and kind of bad at the same time. Because some people, they, oh, okay. We're getting stuck up on by Rexar here. Some people tend to... They tend to be kind of ridiculous, like, oh, I'm murky, I can just die whenever, it really doesn't matter. But it's really not the case, because yeah, you can't like just that. keep feeding the opponent, the, the opponent. you know, you want, you want to try to make every life that you have matter when playing as murky, so I definitely try to do that the best that I can. And um, one interesting note about murky, as I decide what to do here against this Sylvanas, is murky only counts as one-fourth of a normal kill, because I die so easily. So if you look at the scoreboard here, you see I have a 0.25 deaths. That's because I died once, and murky counts as one-fourth of a death every single time. And I'm not liking the fact that it's basically me versus Rexar here, but he's hiding underneath his tower, so there's not much I can do. The tower is going to shoot at me, so I'm just going to hide from him a little bit. Uh, if you go into these things, which every map will have things like this, or they'll have bushes and stuff like that, you can hide in those. You're invisible while you're in them. New talent. Uh, I'll go slime. Eh, yeah, I'll do slime advantage. Basically, I'm going to be going with a slime build uh, for Murky, which, again, I'm not going to get too in-depth with the idea of... Uh, well, the idea of builds and stuff with heroes in this particular video, anyway. I just don't really see a need to. And let's get this Illidan. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and scare these guys out. They're not gonna come after me. Come on in. Come on in. Come after my pufferfish. All right, they're not gonna come in. But I have a Vala here. Oh, but he doesn't see my Vala. I'm gonna go invulnerable. That's an, also another amazing ability that Murky has, because Murky has so little health. I actually have an ability every 14 seconds, which basically makes me invulnerable for two seconds. I always take the Bubble Breeze talent that makes it so I move 20% faster while I have that talent. And as I'm turning these in, we're gonna hit 50. All right, web weavers are ascending. So every single lane, top, middle, and bottom will now have web weavers, which are going to help us push their towers a lot easier than before. I think they're coming down, I hear them. Maybe he's not down yet. I, know. Uh, I don't see him. Where are they? Where's the web weavers? Web weaver ah, there's the web weaver coming down in top lane. They come down like individually? They come down all at once? Oh yeah, they all come down at once. Okay. Well, if they're up there, I'm going to push middle. I'm just going to try and go to a lane where my teammates aren't. That way we can try and push the most effectively. One thing you need to remember about Heroes of the Storm is level. You look up here, we're level, no, we're level 9, they're level 7. And how it works is you actually do generally more damage the higher level you are. So if you can get a level lead on your opponent, you're going to win. It's kind of like a snowball effect, I suppose, because you're going to be doing a lot more damage, and it's kind of hard for them to come back if they're, you're doing a lot more damage and such. You really want to race them to level 10, as we just hit, because once you hit level 10, you unlock your ultimate. And by unlocking your ultimate, uh, it's a really good ability. Like, for example, my ultimate as Murky here is I summon an octopus to stun the target for three seconds while hitting them for one damage a second every time, which isn't a lot of damage. But what it is, is it's a very long stun, whereas if we get into a big team fight, I can pick out a target, I can stun them, make them basically ridiculously vulnerable, and my teammates can melt him. And that's just a really good ultimate that Murky has, and it's one I usually tend to go with. 
And if your team generally has their ultimates before the opposing team, generally a good thing. You really want to race them level 10. Like, it's actually advised by most people that if uh, your the opposing team has their ultimates and your team doesn't, basically hide from them until you get their, your ultimates because it can be very hard for them to really do anything against you. And there's a Diablo here sneaking up. Who do I want? Who do I want? I want the Illidan. I only know why I used my ultimate there. It's probably a bad time to use my ultimate, but I wanted to stun the Illidan. I wanted to try and get him hurt. Uh, we appear to be okay, but they don't see me coming. They don't see me coming. They call me Genki. They call me Genki the Murloc. No, Elden, where do you think you're going, buddy? Where do you think you're going? Oh, you can't outrun me. You can't outrun the Merc. You can't outrun the Murky. Let me get these gems. Oh, wait. I'm coming to help you. I'm coming. Oh, uh, uh, nope. Oh, nope. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. All right. I totally lost my train of thought here. Oh, but yeah, uh, generally you want to, like, uh, run away if they have their ultimates uh, before your team has a chance to get your ultimates. I am going to bubble away from you and grab all these things. <laughs> How you get uh, XP, if you're wondering about that, is by killing the minions, like the little minions that you see here, killing players, as well as killing towers and keeps and things like that. So, just something to keep in mind. That's how you get XP. So that's what they call soaking. If you hear people telling you in the game to soak... Uh, what they mean by that, uh, he stopped me from turning in. Nope, I got him in. Never mind. Um, what the, when, if you have people uh, saying this, so it means basically go to a lane, start killing some minions, start killing some towers, and getting experience for the team. Whereas right now, I see we have nobody in bottom lane. Wait, or do we? Am I blind? No, we have nobody in bottom lane. So I'm going to come down here by myself, and I'm going to push bottom lane. Which generally, Murky is pretty good to run around by himself. Some some heroes like Diablo, you generally want to be with a person. It all really depends. What, what, uh, one of the really good things I think about Heroes of the Storm is all the heroes feel very unique. You know, They all play differently. They all feel unique. And I like that a lot. Uh, we're going to go continue a slime here. And I should just run. I should run from that Illidan. Get slimed. Get stunned. I'm ultimate stunning him. I'm going to kill this Illidan. He's going down. He's going down. 1v1 to Illidan. Oh. I'm a way higher level than I used my ultimate on. But whatever. That's a dead Illidan. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, like every hero feels unique. Every hero has its own unique play style. Murky is very, very unique. Also my favorite hero to play as. That's why I wanted to use him here in this video. Uh, he's my highest level hero. I have a master. I'm a master Murky. And... Uh, yeah, I just, he's my favorite hero to play as by far. Let's back up because towers are shooting at me, and I don't like it when the towers are shooting at me for obvious reasons. That just hurts. You'll notice uh, one thing I haven't pointed out so far is there's, there's these other little objectives on the map. Like Bruiser Camp. Down here is a Siege Camp. Now these are different... Oh no! Buddy! I didn't realize you were being chased! I'm so sorry! I am so sorry! Alright, now I go in for the stun. And we kill Elden as a result. I'm so sorry. That guy was probably being chased down like crazy. Probably following me, expecting him to, expecting me to help, and I didn't even realize it. But I was trying to show you guys, like, there's siege camps here. And there's a boss up here, which are uh, very powerful things. So they're basically little, like, PvE objectives that you can go for. The opposing team can, of course, try and gank them from you. But uh, if you go down there, like, you grab a bruiser camp, it definitely help out your team. But the thing of it is, is generally, and as, uh, if I turn these in, we're going to get the web spinners again. Generally, uh, you can't really solo those camps. Like, uh, siege camps, if, depending on your hero, you can usually solo them. What, around this level, you can probably start soloing them. But it just takes a lot longer. Uh, bruiser camps are harder. Siege camps are easier. Um, boss camps are very, very hard to get. Uh, they definitely take a long time. It basically requires the entire team to get. And obviously, we're not all pushing together here to get that. And I wonder if uh, anyone wants to get a siege camp. I wonder if I could ping this. I, I'm going to ping that. No, 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 never mind, never mind, I don't think, uh, no, uh, oh, never mind, well, I mean, if people want, if, all right, we're all gonna go for the boss, all right, we're all going for the boss, all right, so here's the boss, we're all going for him, let's get it, and if you're wondering how I did that ping, uh, the default command as I almost get massacred, uh, is G, you hold down G, then you click, and then you can, like, say assist, you can say you're on your way, you can, just press G and click something to be able to be like, yeah, we should go here and get this thing. You know, very, very simple. So here we are. You see there's a health bar. Almost down. Almost down. All right. So that is a dead boss. And he's standing there to like kind of take control. But now we have a boss on our side who is going to be very, very powerful. 
The thing about the boss, he's hard to get, but the risk is definitely worth the reward because the boss is going to be very powerful and it's going to really be hard for the opposing team to make a comeback if we have a boss on our side. You know, this Diablo is just trying to run from me, but you know what, Diablo? You're not going to get away. You're not going to get away. Too much strength. Too much strength. It looks like the enemy has their web spinners up, but that's okay. Let's just, we'll clear them out. We'll clear them out. And then if you check up here, you see the boss is just... It's, take, it's taking, like, their whole team to be able to kill the boss as the boss is just running through and dominating their buttholes. It's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. Is the boss still alive? Boss is still alive! Oh, they finally got the boss down as he's pushing even further into their pace. Oh, so nice. So nice. All right, so these guys are pushing here. Actually, I might as well just push with these guys. Drop this down, go in the middle, use the slime, and kablooey. Dead. Murky gets pretty powerful against those guys in the late game. Definitely so. Uh, we only need five more to get the web spinners on our side again, so I'm going to go turn some in. Uh, the thing will be spawning here in about four seconds, so... Actually, he has enough, but I'll just turn mine in. I mean, I've got 15, might as well. And, yeah, we're, we pretty much... This game is pretty much a blowout. Uh, things are going ridiculously well for me right now. The team is definitely dominating. Looks like uh, there's a lot of us here in the middle. I'm just going to clear a wave so our web spirit... Oh, you guys all want to come gank me? You guys want to gank the murky? I'm just going to run away. I'll just run away. You don't think I will? All right, where's the Elden? Where's the Elden? All right, and I now stunned the Elden with my ultimate. Oh, no. No, we didn't kill him. How did we kill him? The Elden lived. Ilden lived! Oh, now he's dead. Alright, that's all that matters. Come here, Rexar! Yeah! Da -da 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 -da. Back up a little bit. Oh, there's a Xerathal. But, yeah, we're, we pretty much got this at this point. I didn't realize I was actually zoomed in that whole time. Didn't even realize it. Didn't even realize it. But it really doesn't matter. Oh, I died. I melted. That's the thing about Murky. He usually melts quick, but notice a very short respawn time. Because I'm Murky and my egg is up and they haven't found my egg. The opposing team can kill your egg as Murky. But, um, they haven't found it this whole time. So, kind of hard for them to do that. Uh, I guarantee you, like, this team, the opposing team doesn't seem to be very good. I'm going to hide my egg up there, which is even a good hiding spot. It's way out in the open. I'm just going to put it there and I bet they won't find it. I bet they won't find it. I'm being chased by Misha, who is the bear pet companion of Rexar there. All right, and I'm gonna I'm stunning Sylvanas. Yep, that's a dead Sylvanas. That's a dead Sylvanas. Let's get the I'm gonna get a pufferfish right there, which didn't really do much. But now we're attacking their core. You look at their core going down. It's pretty much over at this point. That's yeah, about G to the G. It's all over. It's all over. Let's bubble away because I'm taking a lot of damage. Let's throw down the puffer fish. Let's go up here and hit him with a slime. Keep on going. Murky. Murky's not stopping. He's going all the way. He's going right to the core. And GG. If you press tab, you can also look at your scoreboard. And, uh, yeah, just a pretty good overall game. I died the total of three times. Keep in mind, Murky, uh, the death counter is only 0.25 every time he dies. Um... Yeah, they lost each damage. A decent amount here. Damage, not a great amount, but a decent amount. And uh, push their core and one. Keep in mind, every map is different. I think in total there's like nine or something. Like there's a there's not like an infinite number of maps or anything like that. Like don't get don't don't think of it that way. Um, I can actually show you all the maps that are currently in the game if I go here to my player profile, which is a pretty nice thing. You can see uh, your player level, the most played this season, stuff like that. But if you go to your statistics, uh, you can see like your record on the different maps. Dragonshire is by far my best map. I am 25 and 13 there all time, so it's a map I generally win. Two minutes Spire Queen, I was actually uh, 13 and 13 up until that last match. I'm now 14 and 13 all time on that map, so I'm now positive in the win-loss record on that. Then there's Battlefield of Eternity down there, which I only win 25% of the time. I lose all the time on that map. Then you can see your most takedowns as different heroes and 
you know, stuff like that. It's a, it's a neat system. It really is. You can see your hero progress with different guys, and you can see, like, what you're going to unlock and such, and the heroes you have permanently unlocked. See, like, I permanent, because I bought these people, because I'm okay with spending money on the game, because I feel as though I could justify it with the amount of playtime I put into it. Like, I bought Rexar. Uh, I bought Uther. I unlocked Murky with gold, Sylvanas with gold, Zagara with gold. No, or did I buy Zagara? Uh, no, Zagar with gold, I bought Thrall with money, Arthas with gold, a new Brack with gold, you know, it's just, it's truly a free-to-play game, you really can play it for free, if you would like to spend money, you can, and you generally get some cool skins, like, for example, Murky, you guys know me, I like Murky, I play Murky a lot, so I bought Grunty Murky, who's basically a StarCraft version of Murky, he's hilarious, his Pufferfish is a StarCraft style, his egg is StarCraft themed, it's really cool, and the different skins that you can get for heroes, like if you actually want to spend money, which I'm not, it, it's always weird, like, cause I have done sponsored videos before, and I'm always very upfront if it is a sponsored video, but this is not a sponsored video, I'm just showing you how the microtransactions in this game works, I'm in no way affiliated with Blizzard, but uh, some of the skins, if you go here... Then you go to Price Descending, which is like the most uh, expensive skins in the game. Legendary Tychus, like it's an infested Tychus. So what they did here is they took your basic Tychus hero and they made it so he's got covered. Oh, with, yeah, he's just covered with all the swarm Zerg stuff. They replace his the voice acting completely. They have themed abilities for him, themed animations that like they changed around a lot for him. And therefore, he's going to be... Uh, 1499 which is kind of expensive for a skin right but you can also try out the hero and what's kind of nice about this you know they make it so if you're gonna be spending money on a skin you're gonna be spending money on a hero there's always the try button they added the try feature it's for every hero it's there for every skin you can try out the stuff before you actually purchase it which is obviously a pretty good thing so here i am you spawn in here you got your infested tychus i'm just gonna i'm just gonna pick a random thing and when you're in the try mode you can, uh, you can toggle minions, so here I have minions, you can automatically level yourself up, you're like, okay, so do I want to play him, do I want to play his hero, like, what's his hero like at level 20, like, max level in the game? You can bump all that up, you know, uh, you can toggle minions, make it so everyone disappears, you can toggle them back again, oh, everyone's back, you know, you can do all that stuff, you can try all the different things, you can test out all the different abilities that Tychus has, which I have no idea, I've never actually played as Tychus before, <laughs> so I'm just pressing buttons at this point, which I'm probably gonna die, I should run away. I should run away, but he has replaced voice acting, you know, he's got, obviously, all different changes, uh, the themed abilities, which are slightly going to be, uh, look, look slightly different, but perform generally the same, you know, it's just a neat little thing that the game offers you, which is nice, because if you're spending money on skins and stuff like that, you want to make sure you're getting your money's worth, and then there's other skins, which are, of course, a lot cheaper, and, you know, different kind of things like that, so, yeah, that's basically the long and the short, I suppose, of Heroes of the Storm. There's different things you can buy. There's bundles. There are stim packs, which I generally run a stim pack. I think it's worth it with the amount of time I put into the game. But you can buy a 30-day stim pack, right? And what this does is it will increase the experience you gain with heroes and your levels and stuff like that. And the gold that you earn uh, for 30 days. And it's like $10 for 30 days. So it's like $10 a month kind of thing. And you level up your heroes a lot faster and you earn gold faster. I personally think it's worth it, but each his own. You can truly have this, uh, have a good experience with this game as a free to play game very, very easily. Or you can choose to spend money if you would like to, depending on how much you really enjoy the game. Yeah, so that's why I think it's cool about Heroes of Storm. There's a ton of different heroes. I can't, I'm not even going to count. Lots of heroes. Uh, to choose from every week that rotate in a bunch of different heroes that are free to play so if you don't want to spend any money whatsoever every single week they rotate in these heroes then you can just play the heroes play the matches do your daily quest which you unlock at level six um you unlock daily quests that you can do which keep in mind level six i'm talking about your overall level like i'm level 40 which is the maximum level in the game uh put my your player level once you hit level six as a player level you unlock your daily quests but you can do those for gold and then you know with your gold you can buy heroes and like i showed you earlier you go to the shop you go to heroes you go to uh price ascending and you can get a lot of heroes for pretty cheap it's kind of nice you know, you can get any of these heroes for only 2,000 gold, which you can get very, very quickly. So that's the long and the short of Heroes of the Storm. And the idea I've kind of had, if you guys would like it, which I'm not guaranteeing it's going to happen, similar to City Skylines, uh, where I basically did like a feeler video, kind of like an impressions, kind of showing you guys a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a guide, I suppose, if you're a new player. 
Uh, would you guys like to see maybe more Heroes of Storm videos? And if so, the idea I have is basically doing showcases for different heroes. Now keep in mind, I'm not an amazing player. I don't claim to be. I don't claim to know every hero inside and out. But do a video with Murky. You know, and I show you different builds. Do like three or four matches. Do 45 minutes to an hour long video. Playing matches as Murky. Trying out different builds. Showing you how I like to play him on different maps and whatnot. And do like a Murky episode. Do uh, an Uther episode. Who is who I also have a Master Skin for. Uh, do a a Thrall episode. I like playing as Thrall. Do uh, a Nubarak episode, an Illidan episode, Savannah, Sagara, Diablo, all these heroes I like to play as. Maybe even Rexar if I can never get good with him. You know, little, little things like that. I think that would make a fun little mini series here on the channel. So let me know what you guys think about that. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will try out Heroes of the Storm if you are at all interested with it because i was interested in it but i always held off actually trying it then once i actually tried it i was like this is great you know i did play the game a bit during the beta but i was really confused by it there was a big learning curve there which is hopefully something i helped alleviate with this particular video but um as you can see here, i have the portrait for having played the beta but i played the beta i was really confused i stopped playing and then only recently i started playing again and I love the game. It's so much fun to play. So hopefully you guys give it a shot. It's free to play. If you have Battle.net, which is like the Blizzard client for Steam. Like, picture Steam, picture Origin. Uh, Battle.net is Blizzard's version of that. You get, you get Battle.net. You download this game. It's free. You start playing. Have some fun. And hopefully you guys do, because I really, really enjoy this game. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this Heroes of the Storm video. And if you did, please should leave a rating. Let's get one more shot here of Master Murky. Master Murky! I love him. So cool. My favorite here in the game. Have a great day, guys.